Welcome to Bella's Bargains, where everything is from the Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar, people. A dollar. This is Effingham. He, my cow, he goes with me sometimes. Hope you'll stick around and consider subscribing. The other night, dear, as I lay sleeping, I dreamt I held you in my arms. When I awoke, dear, I was mistaken. So I bowed my head and cried. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. I've always loved you and made you happy. And nothing else could come between. But now you've left me to love another. You have shattered all of my dreams. You are my sunshine. Are you singing? My only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Okay, now you guys sing and I'm gonna harmonize it with you, okay? So you sing, I'll harmonize. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. You are my sunshine. Come on, Effingham, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Hi guys, welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy. Okay, if you sang regular and I harmonized it and you could hear it, tell me, because that's kind of fun. I love to harmonize, actually. I should have to, I should record myself and then harmonize over it. Mm, anyway, it's a lot of work. Okay, so today is, I was crying, because I love that song. Such a wuss. Um, today is Shopping Saturday. Oh, by the way, I sang that song. I've sung it before, actually. But I sang it for Lynn Truzo, who I, Tru, is that how you say it? Truzo? Lynn? Um, I think it's new on the channel. And she asked if I would sing that. She said she used to sing it with, I think she said her mom and her dad and her sister, grandma. Mm, family. She sang it with family, so she wanted me to sing that. Love that song. That's actually, that's actually one of the songs that I would sing to one of my daughters, the one I call Sunflower, Emma. She's my little sunflower. That was her flower nickname. And <clears throat> I used to sing that one to her. She loved that song. Anyway, okay, enough about this song. Johnny Cash did a recording of it, though, by the way. Very good. Okay. <laughs> it's shopping Saturday. It's holla for your dollar haul. Holla for your dollar haul. Okay, this video is coming out really late, but I got to explain why. Because I'm not filming it. It's literally 1 o'clock on Saturday, and I'm filming it. So here's the thing. Let me just give you a little rundown. By the way, if you're new to the channel, it's Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the dollar is a dollar, people. A dollar. Where I live, it's still a dollar. All right. So I got up this morning. Because I'm back to work full, full time working with Marcus, now what I do is on Saturday mornings, the routine is this. I get up, make coffee. I bring him his medicine. I take my medicine. I take thyroid. He's take blood pressure. And then I make my coffee. He stays in bed sleeping. I take him his medicine. So try and give him his medicine at the same time every day, right? Then I get up, I'm because I sleep less than he does, so I wake up earlier on the weekends. He would sleep the day away. Not kidding me. Anyway, so then I get up and I start getting things together to film my haul. Usually I'll film my haul, he's still in bed. And then I'll make breakfast or something after that. All right, so this morning, so I get up at 7.30, get him his medicine to get my coffee, and I'm like, go out, <clears throat> get my haul stuff, bring it in, and my phone goes off, and it's like, are you guys awake? So our really good friends were here from Minnesota. They flew home this morning, their flight was at eight o'clock. She waits till 7.30 when like she's on the airplane. She's like, 
there was some problem with the parking. And so their, their car is parked in the short term parking at like $11 an hour. She can't leave it there. She's coming back on Wednesday. She's like, can you guys go get it? So I went and woke up Marcus. And we went, we went and got their car. And then we actually did something for work while we were gone. Oh, it doesn't matter. And then we stopped and we had breakfast. So that was nice. So now, and then we had to bring the car home. Oh gosh. And I might've stopped at a Dollar Tree on the way home. So I'm getting home. I was supposed to have this 11 o'clock conference call actually with Megan from the Crafty Quinn, which I'm going to link her channel down below. So Megan, God bless her. Got to tell you that story. Anyway, so I had to postpone that. Now I'm just getting here and I'm doing my haul. So it's coming up late today. Did you guys like that story? Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're going to start the haul here in a second. But first I have to tell you about Megan from the Crafty Quentin. So I'm really trying to step up my social media this year. It's really the best way to grow my channel, right? And I really don't do social media like Facebook and you, I mean, YouTube's all I'm doing now, but I have to, I have to get on it. I have to like, I have to learn it. So I was trying to do an Instagram post. Now, Megan from the Crafty Quinn, again, her channel's linked down below. I really love her. I've done some, she used to do challenges and I did a couple of hers. Like if you guys watch my channel and you remember the Apple one and the, I think it was camp, camping decor. Um, I think that's what it was. And I did, she would host this challenge and, and I did hers a couple of times. I haven't done a challenge in a long time. I really need to do some. If you guys know of any, send them. Tell me who they are. I'll, I'm a, I need to go do some collabs or challenges or something. Anyway, so Megan, because she would um, talk to all of us who were doing the collab on Instagram. So Megan and I know each other on Instagram now too, right? I watch her channel. She's actually one of the few channels that when it pops up, I will watch. Um, because I don't watch as much YouTube anymore because I'm working full time. So anyway, so I tried to put an Instagram post on there and I put the link to my to my video on it. So Megan's messages me. She's like, hey, Amy, just what, FYI, your link doesn't work. This is what you have to do. So she shows me and I'm like, oh my gosh, bless you. How sweet are you? Then I started talking to her and I was like, I'm so bad at this social media stuff. I haven't taken the time to learn it and blah, blah, blah. And she says, well, I know because that's what I do for a living. And I went, wait, what? Bingo. So I said, Megan, any chance you want to earn a little extra money and teach me how to do social media? So seriously, God bless her. She's going to give me, I think it's four hours. We're doing four hours worth of social media training. So the first one was supposed to be today, but because I had to go rescue my friend's car at the airport and all that, we didn't, I knew we weren't going to get back in time. So we're doing it tomorrow. And I'm going to link her, her channel down below. Please go and visit her and tell her thank you very much for helping your bestie Amy because I don't know what I'm doing. All right, should we get into this haul? Anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you, Megan. It is so sweet of you. Megan um, has a cat too. So here's the other challenge. Watch her video. Tell me what her cat's name is. Then, I know, then I'll know you went over and watched her. Mm -hmm. You know, I love these, you guys, the mango. Oh, I love these tropical mango power water. Oh, that's fine. All right, Dollar Tree though. You know I get these at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so this is a shopping haul that I did on, well, Tuesday. I tell you, I go on Tuesdays. So I am not going to unpack it. This is my new way of doing hauls. Let me know what you guys, if you guys like this or if you don't like it, let me know. So now I just buy the haul, bring it and plop it and then just go through it as it comes out of the bags. Okay, so I found this. I was like, what? Yeah, Honey Nut Cheerios, bonus tic-tac-toe game. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Evingham, do you want to play tic-tac-toe? Oh yeah, I forgot. He has no toes. <laughs> Subscriber challenge, by the way, I forgot to say that. Subscriber challenge this month is to make a hat for Evingham. If you want to know anything else, watch a couple other videos I talk about. Okay, Cheerios. So this is the limited edition pumpkin spice. Now we know why this is there, right? This was a fall holiday thing and um, it didn't sell, so now it's at the Dollar Tree. This is good until August of 22, so it's not going to make it through another fall season, but pumpkin spice is good all the time, isn't it? And it's still winter. So I'm not going to lie to you. I bought three boxes. There's only two here. Do you want to know why? Because I bought it on Tuesday and one night was it? I don't know. What, some night after that, that I bought it and we met up with some friends and we're probably out. We were out too late and came home and, and Mark's like, I'm starving. And I go, okay, bowl of cereal, which is like kind of a go-to. I was like, I got some new stuff. You want to try it? So I went and got it. So we've already gone through half a box of this. And it's so good, you guys. It's so super good. I was like, yes. It would make amazing 
Um, Rice Krispie treats, although these aren't Rice Krispies, but you know what I mean. If you ever do Rice Krispies, you can do Rice Krispie things with any kind of cereal, really. But with these, it would be so good. They'd be super good little fall marshmallow gooey things. But that wasn't the only cereal I found. Reaching down to get a bag. The other cereal I found was this one. Like, what? Never seen this before. This is, did I tell you the outage on this, by the way? I, I don't know if I did. This is 10.8 um, ounce and it's gluten free. So 10.8 ounce for a dollar. Cheerios, pumpkin spice. All right. So then um, I found this one. This is 12 ounces and it's A through Z um, letter shapes. I want to, Tur try. I want to take out and open it up and look at the letters because, like, you know, you could Mod Podge and seal the letters in and then make something with them. I don't know, kind of cute, kind of small little thing you can make with them. All right, who makes this? This is um, General Mills also. I don't know. Find the serial letter from inside the box that matches the first letter of each, each picture. So this is cute. It's like, oh, it is General Mills. All right. So why is this there? I mean, I don't know. My guess is that this is gonna taste very similar to like, um, like a uh, like a Captain Crunch maybe or something. It doesn't really say lightly sweetened cereal made with whole grain. Okay, super cute box, of course. But I'm like, heck yeah, a dollar. I wish the kids were coming. So I love all these things that it says up here. So a good source of calcium, vitamin D to help build strong bones. Good source of vitamin E and essential. Nutrients. Anyway, super colorful, cute box. All right, Elmo. Tickle me, Elmo. Tickle me, Elmo. I like Elmo. Oh, funny thing. What did I just pull out of here? But more of these. I'm in love with these. Oh, I just buy them every time I see them. And then um, I did throw in my cart one more of the little fruit ones. So I did for us because... I didn't buy one for us, and I was like, I'm gonna take it with this camping because it's just like warming on the open fire and put some butter on it. These are actually pretty good. They do make them in chocolate chip too, but I didn't see those there. So, food, of course, like I'm always doing food. The total on this one, this run, by the way, I think was 111, if I remember correctly. So, but you guys know, I like buy like all my groceries there and everything too. Oh look, one more. I know where those are going. Okay, so I just had to, I'm gonna throw this in my Foodie Friday to try it, but this was green apple, my favorite, and it's these little licorice things. So I threw that in there, I'm like, I'm gonna throw it in Foodie Friday and try it for you guys on a Foodie Friday. All right, I am doing this month for, actually I'll grab those right now to show you guys. So you know, for my grandchildren who live in Iowa, there's another one that lives in California, but she's just a baby, so I'm not doing it for her because she wouldn't know. She wouldn't know what was going on anyway. Okay, so, but for the older grandchildren who live in Iowa, if you watch my channel, you know that I did 25 days of Christmas for them, right? So I sent them, you know, the mailboxes that you, the big mailboxes that you can buy at Dollar Tree. I sent those last year with 25 days of Christmas, and so this year I sent them 25 days of Christmas again. They just, they still had the same mailboxes. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna do it for Valentine's Day. I'm gonna send 14 days of love. So I bought the boxes or the things to send off to them. So I didn't do the mailboxes this time. It's like, I think I'll do something different. So I didn't do the mailboxes. Instead, I got some of the really cool Valentine's things. So this is for my oldest grandson. It's the stiff bag in like box, bag box, I guess. I don't know what you call these. Don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, and it had the truck on it. So he's 18. So I felt like this was almost 19. So I felt like this was masculine enough to send his 14 days of love in. And then um, I got, I got to remember who I got these all for, how I did it. Oh, I think I did this one for my granddaughter because of the striped pink. I just thought it looked so, you know, little girly or girlish, I should say. So she's getting that one and she's 14, almost 15. To think about these things. Yes, 14, almost 15. She'll be 15 in like two weeks. Then um, for the two, my middle grandson Ezekiel so Lazarus is the oldest one then Ezekiel's the next one and then there's Zane in the one family so for Ezekiel I got this truck one I mean I know it's it's still it was a truck so I was like okay that's fine I know it's pink but it's Valentine's you're gonna get pink and red so I got him the truck one with all the hearts coming out of it 
And then for the two youngest boys, they both get the same one, but they live in different houses, so it doesn't matter. And it just says, be mine with the typical red. And these are just the open boxes, right? The Velcro boxes. So they all got the Velcro box style, except for the oldest grandson who got this. This Okay, so now that's what I'm sending them for the parents to put out on, on, on February 1st. They'll get those. And then there will be 14 days worth of like little gifts that go in there each day. So I started collecting those gifts, which I'm gonna empty a bag because I gotta start putting those things in there. So one of the things that I got them was, um, I was trying to, you know, I'm trying to get red, if I can find red stuff. So it's the Kool-Aid gum, which I, I actually think I sent this to him at Christmas too. It doesn't matter, they love it when they get gum, right? And then, but for the oldest grandson, I thought I would get him, you know, a more adult type gum. So one of their 14 days of love is gum. Super healthy, right? And then another one of their 14 days of love is the hot chocolate bomb. Now they live in the Midwest, so there's still winter going on, right? So I tried these, I didn't think they were any good, but they, kids have less of a, they're not as picky about their chocolate, so I'm sure it'll be fine. And they're hot chocolate bombs. There's three more in here somewhere. I'll find them when I find them. Um, and this, the metal garden hooks, I love these. I use them for lots of things, but one of the places that I use them is in my garage. So I have racks above my garage, and then I hang things off my racks, like underneath them. These work amazing for that, super easy. So for instance, I have an area where I have craft stuff. Like if I want, if I bought a haul and I want to stick it out there, I'll, I'll hang it on hooks like this off of my racks, because they're metal, like they're, you know, they're uh, not mesh, they're metal, but there's, there's a grid and you can put hooks in it. So I get these um, for that. Okay. I found more of the black polish, which is actually dye. But better than that, guess what I found? And we're gonna do something on camera because I wanna know if it works. I found white. I was like, wait, what? It's white shoe polish. Okay, so I got a couple more black and I got like quite a few of the white. So I'm gonna, I know I have something wood in here at some point, and then we're gonna try the white and see what it does. Because I'm like, heck yeah. Let's get rid of some of that. Let's try some of that white. Oh my gosh. Um, I just realized I didn't do my calendar winners today too. Hmm. I should probably do that right now. Okay, random, in the middle of my shopping haul, I am going to pull the winners for my calendars. Let's do that. Okay, the winner for today is Lucy Lou. Lucy Lou, you won. Oh, but let me tell you what you won. You won calendars, of course. So the farmer's market one, which I will be crafting with next week, the farmhouse one, yay. The enjoy the little things one. So we got three calendars there, but I'm gonna also give you the wine calendar from last year and the be brave calendar from last year, which have great, great graphics in it. So five calendars for you. So the farmhouse, the, I mean the farmer's market, the farmhouse, the enjoy every moment or enjoy the little things, the wine one from last year and the be brave one. So the be brave one is like super cool graphics in this one that, well, they all do. But the wine one, I gotta tell you, the best thing to do with the wine one is to go buy the frames that these fit into and then um, frame each one of them and take them as gifts when you go to somebody's house or put them all in there like I did with the one frame where I put every picture in, in the calendar in there and then it can switch out every year and then like line the picture frame with corks. I should do that, I should do that craft sometime for you guys. But anyway, great idea to do with this. So Lucy Lou, you won the five calendars and we're gonna put that to the side for you. But at the end of this video, I'm gonna do another drawing and I have two more sets of calendars to give away. So I have a set of four, which is the farmhouse from this year, the farmer's market from this year, also the wine from last year and the every moment matters from last year. With all, I did a really cool um, DIY series with this calendar last year. I made this whole thing of stuff for my granddaughter, super colorful, bright and cheery. So that set I'll be giving away at the end and then I have two calendars left which I'll be giving away. This pair which is the farmer's market and the wine from last year. So two more, two more drawings in this video. All right, let's keep going with the hauls, shall we? So, 
Valentine's. I found some other Valentine's Day. So this, these are just, I'm not sure. I don't know why I bought them anyway, but I did. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a couple of ideas. This one is, they're like a shadow box almost. So this one says love, but what I want you guys to, and then there's one that says, it says love mail and this one says just love on it, right? But here's my idea for some of these. <clears throat> this has, the writing is on the glass, okay? So there's so many things like it would be super cute. It, take, it would take a kind of a lot of work, but maybe not. Is to take the wooden hearts that they little wooden hearts that they sell at Dollar Tree, and then um, put little pictures like of you and your special someone in there, and double side your hearts with little pictures, which you could do just by doing black and white photocopies of the pictures, shrink the size down, cut them out, mod podge onto little hearts, throw them in there, and then it would be like a little shaker thing with little uh, for a Valentine's for somebody. This one is love mail, um, and I just think it would be so cute just to take little notes and roll them up and put little, um, little like a little scroll and just have little things in there that say like, I love you, or you don't even have to scroll them. You could just put little slips of little handwritten like little notes in there all over so you could shake it and read the different little notes. And then this one I think is just too cute not to just put a picture in it. So it says love. So put a heart-shaped picture of you and your fella in there or your favorite grandchild or your cat or your dog, whatever. And the love would, would be on top of the picture. So some cute ideas to do with those. I hope you guys, somebody tell me that you make something like that. Um, oh yeah, I opened up my white because I'm gonna find something to stain with the white and see how it works. Okay, next, next we have Oh, also for the 14 days of love. Boop, I found them. Boop, I found them. So they all got one. I didn't get the oldest one. One Like, there's certain things like, yeah, I'm not getting him one. Um, I don't know where the other one went. It's in a bag somewhere, just not in this particular bag for some reason. Anyway, so I got the five, I mean the four youngest ones, these. They're just so stinking cute, you know? Like, they're. it's like if you have... Uh, it just, I don't know. What do you call it? What do they even call these? Bubble snap and pop. But they're like, um, if you're anxious or anxiety or same thing, right? Anyway, the kids love these. They're a really hot toy right now. That's one of their five, 14 days of love. Okay. And because I needed zip ties. Don't ask why. For crafting. So I needed zip ties. So I got some of those. This is a super interesting toy thing. I've never seen there before. Also grabbed these for the 14 days of love because I was just intrigued, but I'm not gonna open one. But this is what I'm gonna tell you. It's called Air Dough. I got four different ones because I'm gonna send them off in the 14 days of love. This one makes a bulldog with ears, I guess. So it's like, this is so light, but there's like dough packages in here. They're like air dough, I guess. And then the instructions on how to make what's on the front here. So I thought those were fun. This one is, uh, this one is bulldog. This one's avocado. <laughs> this one's unicorn. Obviously that's going to the granddaughter, right? And then the other ones are going for the boys. And this one is penguins. So I was like, so, I think they're so cute. So who are these by? These are by Scent Coin, Scent Coin Company. All right, out of Santee, California. Do they smell too? Air dough, no. Doesn't say they smell. The lightest modeling dough on earth. Don't know. Goes in the 14 days of love bag over here. Um, and then I decided to love myself, so I got some more of the pets. These are amazing. So this one has three pairs in it because it's the solid black. This one has three pairs. But this one, and I only found one of it, has the black and the white for like wearing flats. These, I wonder if the retail is underneath this sticker. We're gonna find out right now. But you know they weren't a dollar. They retailed for, no, there's no retail under there. Anyway, I mean these retail, if you went to the grocery store, or I mean uh, like any, any store to get these, they're probably retailing for $6. I love them and I wear tennis shoes and I don't like socks to show. So they're perfect for that. 
So that was Sean Amy some love. I love you. Yeah. Me love. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to put these in Foodie Friday along with my uh, sour apple licorice. Look at that. Cocoa cream soft caramels. Like what? Have not seen those before. So where there's soft caramel on the outside, delicious cocoa cream on the inside. I'll let you know. Also, for the 14 days of love, I'm like, school supplies, right? So, I found these, and I was like, those are so stinking cute. I can't stand it. Dr. Seuss pencils. They are so stinking cute. So, for the little boys, I got, this one is, um, this one is green eggs and ham. And this one just says Dr. Seuss. But anyway, they're so stinking cute. And these are number two pencils, right? I think, uh, it doesn't matter. And then for the granddaughter, I really love these. These are all the places you will go, which is like the perfect Dr. Seuss book when a child graduates from high school. So the places you will go, I got her those. But then I thought about like the 14 year old boy. I was like, eh, wouldn't be, eh. So I just got him some Dixon, which are extremely good pencils in nice solid colors to go in their 14 days of love. And the oldest grandson, of course, isn't getting pencils. He's out of school right now and working full time. So, um, yeah, I didn't get a pencils. I'll put something else in his. And then I found another one of these. It's my favorite color of the stuff that they're bringing out. And it's like, I call it, um, is it not a cobalt blue, but yeah. Or, yeah, I don't know what color I call it. I had the color before, and I can't remember it. Anyway, I absolutely love this color. And um, I'm going to redo all my craft stuff in my garage. And so I'm actually, I think I'm going to start crafting in my garage. I live, in, I live in Arizona, so I really should be able to. Actually, bargain mama Amy, she does. She's like, it's cold or something. Which I, I know it will be, but there's most of the year we could be out there crafting, and I'm just kind of tired of cleaning up glitter in my house, to be quite honest. So, anyway, I love this. What's the color, you guys? It's going to drive me insane. Oh, well, I'm not going to get it right now, so stop, Amy. Give up. Okay, next bag. So when I do the school supply day, I'm also going to do these um, in with their pencils because I was like, that's just hysterical. These are scented rulers. And these are imported by Greenbrier. This one's strawberry scent. And this one is blueberry scent. Uh, it's green, I don't know, but there's blueberries in the middle there, right? See? And there's strawberries in this one. So for the two youngest boys, I both got them the lime green, my favorite color, in the strawberry to go with their pencils, right? And then for the other grandson I got him the blueberry one and then for the granddaughter I got her this it's so cool you guys it's like a 3d not sure you can see it on camera but it's really cool it's a 3d ruler and um I didn't realize this wow it's got times tables on the back of it well that's interesting okay so those are going with their pencils on the day that is like the one of their 14 days of love um yeah, I got this for Foodie Friday because I'm going to try it one of these days. Dumplings and chicken. It just looks gross, but I have to. So I'm always trying to dollar tree food, so I have to. I bought these for myself. This is so old school. You remember when these were all big and we'd all, and you had like your hair? Anyway, I actually like them and they're really good for when I'm crafting to put, keep the hair out of my face. So threw some of those in my cart. And then guess what's coming out? Yeah. Planting stuff is coming out. All right, these are beautiful colors, which is why I picked them up, just to show you, and I have no idea what I'm going to do with them, but they're beautiful colors. So I'm absolutely, and this is like a a dark, um, it's like a dark army green, I guess the best way to say it. These are wine colors. I would call these wine colors, you know what I mean? This is like a dark terracotta, and then this dark, very similar blue to this. Yeah, I'm loving that blue. Um, okay, so I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I also thought that I could maybe possibly use them in my crafts because these are like buckets almost just to throw stuff in. So maybe that's what I'll do with them. That might just be exactly what I do with them. And then I can also super easy to label them, right? But of course, they also are great for plants. Not just. Also, you could totally put these in your bathroom with rolled up hand towels in it. You know, don't, they're not just for planting anymore. The bottoms, do the bottoms snap off? I think the bottoms snap off. Or I'm gonna break it. Well, anyway, at the bottom, it's just for draining, so maybe they don't snap off, right? So that the water drains out of there. 
because there's holes in the bottom. So they are excellent for planting a plant. I just kill everything. I have one little area in my backyard that has plants and they're like succulents. So, mm -mm. yep, so I'm gonna kill them. I did buy something to do a, ha a Halloween, a Valentine craft with, which I will be doing for you. And I was super excited to see the size of these. If you watch my videos, you saw the, the garland that I did for Christmas, which my friend Deb took. And um, it was super cute with the snowman hats. It's one of those ones I'll probably regret giving away, have to make it again. Yeah, but look at the size of these babies. So these are tote bags. What do I tell you guys to do with tote bags? Cut them open and make garlands. But look, then they had pink and red little ones. And like, I'm going, oh yeah, oh yeah. Totally different garland. Now, I have an idea too. What I'm gonna do is at the end of my garland, I'm gonna put one each of these uncut up and then fill them with rocks so that it will sit wherever I want it to go. So I think that's a great idea. So that is a Valentine's craft that I will be doing for Totally Easy Tuesday. Um, not this next week, I'm gonna finish up calendars and then I'll do some Valentine's. Which, by the way, keep forgetting everything in the, in the beginning of the video, you guys. I'm collecting things that you want me to make. So I'm challenging myself. I think it's gonna be like three weeks of challenges if I do this right. Uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, doesn't matter. There'll be quite a few weeks of challenging and you guys write down what you would like to see me make. I'm not going to the Dollar Tree to buy anything. I'm just gonna make stuff because I'm trying to work through some of my craft supplies and also to really challenge myself creatively so that I do some things. So what I'm gonna do, you write down something that you would like to see me make. I'm actually writing them all down, putting them into a bowl and I'll be pulling them out as I'm making the video. So I'm gonna start my video, do my intro, pull it out and be like, okay, you want me to make and then go get the stuff and make it. So it's super, super challenging. Um, so anyway, and it won't be live because obviously I have to go get the stuff and all that. So I'm not doing anything live, but I'm gonna, uh, maybe I'll do a premiere on a few of them. So if there's something you would like to see me make and challenge me with, please write it down in the comments. I'll be writing all those down and then pulling out, um, picking things out to do. Pulling it out of the bag. Just pulling them right out of the bag. All right, speaking of bags, here's another one. Snagged another one of these because I'm, a uh, few things, you guys. I'm, these don't have to be Valentine's. Just take this off. Just pry that off, which I'm pretty sure I can. Um, and so I was thinking that I was just gonna, I was gonna try and pry this off, maybe save the, save the truck. So I don't know, we'll see. Or it's just gonna get used for Valentine's. And then these, oh, there's another bomb. You know what that is. Um, check these out. And I only found two. They're beautiful. Serenity and look at the top. So these candles, I love the, the color of the glass. And it smells really beautiful. I don't know what the scent is. It says scented candle, but it doesn't, doesn't say what the scent is. Um, but so high end looking, you guys. Doesn't this look like beach glass? I feel like these would make fabulous Ooh. nautical burn them and then make something nautical with them you could actually you could make them nautical without burning them oh i might have to do this so put something on top of it like a like one of the um one of the beach um little cottage fairy cottage things um hold okay so this was going to be in another hall but look how cute is that like just to put that little lighthouse on top of this candle and you could Mod Podge down some sand on the top of it. And then on this side, I know it says Serenity, but I feel like you could just decorate this side of it and leave the Serenity scented candle, that's fine. But so you know the wood, um, I have, I might have to do this for you guys. I have the wood laser cut things and there's the octopus. And I've shown you guys before that if you throw, throw them into water, it separates into more than one piece and then they're 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 bendable. So how cute would it be to put the, the octopus die cut on here? The White House with some sand on top of this. What a cute little beachy gift, right? Yeah, I'm liking that idea. I'm, I'm, I just might have to do that. So I found the lighthouse though. Yeah, all right. Moving right along, moving right along. Um, These are also out the planters. So I have a really funny idea and I don't know if it's gonna work. But I was thinking for um, for a birthday gift for one of the grandkids is to put these together 
and put a couple of stuffed monkeys. You know, they have the stuffed monkeys at the Dollar Tree, right? And just make it a big barrel of monkeys. <laughs> oh, money is that, right? And just grab a bunch of different colored monkeys and then chain them all together because they Velcro their hands Velcro. So that's my idea with this is to make a big barrel of monkeys. If you like that idea, give me a monkey emoji right now for my big barrel of monkeys. Come on. Also, this would be super, another good idea. Holy buckets. This would be super cute to put some craft beers in and put it together with a big bow on top of it. Super cute guy gift, right? Some craft beers in here. Ah, also good. And you know what you could do? You could literally um, glue it together, tack glue a rope around the center of it or the leather the leather um, ribbon, and then they could just they would just have to rip it off there to open this, but how cute, craft beers in here with faux ice cubes. Okay, just a flow in today. And then um, I got Moose Crunch for the 14 Days of Love. There's a lot of food going in the 14 Days of Love. Well, it's Valentine's, it's like candy, candy stuff. And this is the cutest. It's an elephant, number one, and it's an elephant, it's a snack carrier. I'm gonna put it in my lunchbox because I'm silly like that. You know, obviously it's for children. I don't care, snack storage. That's what it says, it says snack storage. But it's an elephant. They had other ones that were silly. I don't remember what the other animals were. It doesn't matter because I just wanted the elephant for me because you know, I collect elephants. So um, I should have probably bought, oh well. I always do that, don't I? I should have. No, you shouldn't have, you got what you got. I was just like, that's so stinking cute. So a little snack bowl that's for, it's an elephant. Oh. I'm kind of goofball. I've already pulled out the, one of the wood products. Let's do this, you guys. You want to see if the white shoe polish works like the blue shop? The blue shoe polish works amazing as a stain. I'm telling you. You guys find that you need to get it. Okay. So this is the white shoe polish, and this is by Penguin. I don't know what name brand that is. Some name brand somewhere. And it's a shoe polish for like you know, like to like on your tennis shoes, I suppose. I should use it on that too. So you you just depress the there's the paint or the polish comes in the middle and then you get shoe polish out. Do I shake it? I can't remember if I shook it. Okay. And then see, can you guys see that? It like squeezes out shoe polish. Oh yeah. This would work. Now it's just going to give it a whitewash, but you guys, do you want, oh wait, I'm going to show you something else too. Okay. Boy, these are cheap. That's already come apart. Anyway, so it works like a whitewash. Can you sort of see how it's whitewashed there now? I actually love to whitewash wood, and it would take a couple, but you could do a couple of, if you kept doing this, you'd get a good, see? You'd get it to get a good light white on it. But even better than that, do you know what this would be amazing for? I'm going to show you right now, because I happen to have in front of me a sign that I was going to, I'm going to use to do a, um, a calendar thing with, I think. So first of all, on this stuff, it would definitely whitewash it pretty simple. But shabby chic people, you wanna whitewash something? Because when you whitewash, I can't think, I mean farmhouse. I guess it'd be more farmhouse, right? That you would whitewash something. Can you see that? Yeah, would work perfect for that. Whitewashing of something. Oh, I kind of like that. There you go. Mmm. So pick this up if you find it. Now I'm liking this sign, whitewashed. But that's okay. I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm gonna get rid. I'm gonna use the this. I wanted the shape of it. I love the shape of this, so I was gonna. But see that whitewash on there, you guys? Very farmhouseish. So multiple uses for the um for the shoe polish that's white. And then of course I found the black too. Now if I find brown, oh, I'm gonna be a happy camper haven't yet all right one book and I bought this for my grandson because he's an avid reader and it just looks so cool and I don't know how much it was originally because I didn't peel off the thing but there's still books it just shocks me the book buys I'm not kidding you I just gave away a book to a friend of mine for Christmas we saw him after Christmas was, didn't see him just till like last week and um, I gave him one of the huge $35 wine books and they and it, it was a lot of it was California wineries they had been to absolutely loved it and I'm like yep got it at the Dollar Tree like I don't lie I'm like yep got it at the Dollar Tree so it's like so cool okay this book was sixteen ninety nine 
So it's the not so boring letters of private nobody. Um, and then I read the back of it and it's a couple of tech savvy seventh graders that readers will love getting to know, go digging for a civil war soldier's secret and discover themselves. Anyway, so it's like, I love it when they'll sort of mix history with a book and the, the reading level is, per, is perfect for him. Um, and I'm, I send him hardback books and I tell him all the time, get a collection of hardback books. I hope you keep all these, you know, forever. So snagged for a dollar. I snagged that. Maybe that should go in his 14 days of love. Although it doesn't look very Valentine's, does it? Okay. Anyway, um, next a couple of Valentine's day, Valentine's day, Valentine's decorations. I don't know. I got them. Don't know for sure what I'm going to do with them. But they're these. So first of all, I have to say, I just like the open heart with the, um, oh, actually I could just do this with it, huh? I think that'd be super cute, you guys. You know I'm always making bigger signs with their stuff. So just to just do three hearts. Actually, we could go like this too. Or we could just stagger them. I don't know, okay. Or we could, we could do them hanging. Like this, that's actually, that's not bad. I kind of like that. So I think I could do that. Um, anyway, and then also I would enhance them. So one is, says kisses, super cute, like super cute. This one says love, also very cute. And this one says XOXO. So I just thought these were different. I'll probably just take them on a totally easy Tuesday. I'm gonna put them over there actually because that's probably um, Valentine's. I'll do a totally easy Tuesday and do some things with those. <laughs> I found this one and it says, love you. And I was like, oh, it's got a messed up portion on it. Dang it, hold, please, hold, please, hold, please. Which is a little speck of glue. It says, love you. Here's the thing. I love the blue. I, I, I don't think I've ever seen a blue this, the, I mean, this color blue before. So. Because it has the blue and that there's these gold leaves around it, forget the love you in the middle. I'm thinking about doing a really boho project with it and like taking, um, so I would get rid of this, which I could do fairly easily because I could scrape it off. I'm not really too concerned about keeping the blue in the middle as much as I am about keeping the blue on the side. And then um, like doing um, tacks and doing a weaving thing with string in the middle and then put something in the middle of that. I don't know. I Yeah, there's lots of ideas. But I just absolutely loved this blue and the gold leaf there. So I'm going to keep it, putting it in my stash for something. You know what I always say. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Because <laughs> I don't. I really, really don't. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, my gosh. I found it. Christy from Country Crafty. She's like, when I did the little, I did the little calendar one with the, the little miniature pieces from the calendar on the back here and you could switch it out. And I was like, I really wanted to do it on home, but I didn't have it. I had two loves and she's like, that's funny. I had homes. I couldn't find love. But anyway, um, so I found the home Christy. So. I, why did I buy it? Cause I already did that craft. I don't know. Cause that's what I do. But if you watched the other day when I did this craft, I have to still be sticking, sitting here in my kitchen. So I took the Mason jar and I put a calendar page here. So this kind of thing, the home kind of thing, would also work for putting a page behind it. It's the exact same length as a calendar page, I think. Hold on, let's double check this. Watch. So not not, not this picture per se, but look at that. Oh, actually. See? So you can take a calendar page, put home in front of it like this. You have to find the right one that it would fit with. I don't have any open right here, otherwise I'd try some different ones. But that's an excellent idea. So then it makes it like a stand a standing piece instead of a hanging sign and just use the cardboard. I used just use the cardboard that came inside the calendar to do this with just the cardboard. So an excellent idea. Maybe I'll do that with this next week. I, I'm going to put this over by calendars. Oh, I have an open calendar. Hold on. Also, mm, I should have picked up more of these. This size is so perfect for calendars. Look at that. Okay. But I didn't. Um, so this one is the calendar. Let's just really quickly here. Um, here is the, this. So obviously look at that fit on there, right? 
And then just pick one of the calendar things. Uh, let's see, I'll just rip one out quickly and show you guys. Let me see which one I think would look best. Um, I think this one's gonna be too low, but it gives you an idea. So look, no, ah, we cut off the bicycle. Okay, well maybe this calendar's not the right one to do it with, but I think you get where I'm going, right? That would be a super cute idea. And I'm gonna put this over there because I think I will try and find something in my calendar area to do that with. Okay, so back to the haul. Back to the haul. XO, XO, XO. Mm -hmm. I saw something, I'm, I ran into Michael's today and it's because I was not because I went there to shop for craft stuff because I don't, I only go to Dollar Tree. But I was looking for something for a wedding that I'm going to. And um, they had a bunch of stuff on clearance. So sometimes I'll go through and I'll snap photos, but I saw the coolest thing and it was, a, it was a saying, it was a Christmas one and it was on stands. And if you remember, mm, I have hold. So they sold these a while back and they were like the geodes on the stand, like the faux geodes. I have one of these on my wall, but look at the back. Mm -hmm. So if you took this off, then you could make a, an actually really cute standing sign right, with the XOXOXO. So forget this shape behind that. See that? Cute, right? I think I'll do that for Totally Easy Tuesday as well for you guys. <laughs> yeah, I create while I haul. Um, okay, here's a few more of these. The hot chocolate bombs for their, for their, um, yeah. And then the rest of the, so, they have a pink bag. I don't remember what flavor that was, but I felt like the kids would just like the milk chocolate a lot better. So I got the milk chocolate one for their 14 days of love. Oh, here's the last one of those for 14 days of love. And then um, I so mad at myself because I should have gotten them these for 14 days of love, but instead I bought them to try on Foodie Friday to tell you guys if they were any good. Don't know. Sometimes, sometimes. Then I found one of these, which I love these, and so I'm hoping to find some more because I would like to put these in the 14 days of love for the kids so they can color them and put them in their room like a decoration. So there's one. And this I saw and I was like, I just love the shape of it, but I want it for a stand. So for instance, where did my little, um, yeah. So for instance, like, a, a <laughs> well, I think this lighthouse just looks good on anything, doesn't it? Um, but like a stand for raising something up that, like a Christmas tree, this would be so cute with a Christmas tree on it. It looks like a star, like the North Star or something, but I bought it as a shape and I thought it would be really cute. I wish I could have gotten to sending styles. It would make the coolest Christmas tree. So I just nabbed one because I've been like, I'm not, I'm not trying to increase my craft supply. I'm only picking up things like if number one, if I need it or if it's like, oh, that's really different. And then the final bag, which I think is the best bag. Oh, I forgot one other thing in this bag, sorry. Two things in this bag. Shh. Amy, three things. I also bought these to try for you guys on Foodie Friday and the truffles to try on Foodie Friday because it's all the Valentine stuff that's out. So then this next Friday, I'll try all those for you. Okay, um, I was like, yes. Mm -hmm. LA's totally awesome. Do you guys understand that that's a name brand and they've got it all over the Dollar Tree right now? I don't know if it's going to stay, if it's going to go away. I'm unclear. doesn't matter. I've bought like everything. Then I found these. So this is LA's totally awesome. Well, that one's Brillo. Okay, I got two things. This Look at this. Dishwashing liquid citrus. Ooh, that smells good, you guys. Ooh. Mm-hmm. This is humongous. It's LA's totally awesome. LA's, LA's totally awesome. This is 30 fluid ounces citrus liquid dish detergent. Yeah, a dollar. And then they had the LA's totally awesome fabric freshener. So this is a funny story. I have a Febreze hanging in our closet um, because you know, sometimes if we go out to the bar and stuff, you'll come home and something will smell or what you know, lots of places you can go where you're like, clothes aren't dirty but they you know like your jackets and stuff um or your shoes get smelly in the closet too so I wonder if this is I wanted to smell this anyway here I'll spray it on me my clothes oh you guys this smells good so this is what it looks like um so anyway so I had the bottle and 
And Marcus says to me the other day, he goes, you need, he says, we need some fabric freshener in the hall closet, which is where all of our jackets are. And I was like, oh, well, here, you can use this right now. And I go, I'll, I'll get another one. Then I walk into the Dollar Tree. It's like pennies from heaven when this happens. And I'm like, there it is, my answer. So I nabbed two, and these last a good long time. Um, yeah. And then the final thing I got, which I was like, this is, again, such a good buy. This is Brillo. Am I insane? Because I don't think this has been there before. So this is Ellie's told that this is 30, this one's 24, but I bought dish soap so I don't have to buy it probably for the next year because they had Brillo Lemon Fresh, they had Brillo Green Apple, and they had Brillo Clean Lavender. Now, again, you guys, if you were gonna do a gift basket, somebody who just moved into a new home, these are so bright and colorful and they're name brand and there's so much Brillo stuff. You could do the coolest Brillo cleaning basket for somebody. It's like so, or even their new apartment. I mean, you know, yeah. So I have a lot of dish soap now. Mm. But this was, this was like, was like, yes. And it does, you guys, that smells really good. It's not, it's not a Febreze. It's more, I don't even know how to explain it. Did I just spray? Which one did I spray? This one? It just smells really fresh. This one seems to be broken. That's going to irritate me. Is it? No, it's off. Maybe that's what's wrong. Let's put it on and see if it sprays. Oh, that was stream. I just streamed my wall. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, so anyway, that was great fine. All right, let's give away another calendar. Are we ready? Let's do it. I mean, that calendar. Calendar set. Hold. Oh! Oh, shoot! Just dropped my iPad. Dang it. It was Wanda! Okay, Wanda, you won. Okay, so Wanda, you get a set of the four calendars and it has, or is it five? I'm sorry, it's five. So you're, get, Wanda, you get the farmhouse, the, is, am I doing this right? The cheer, the old last year's um, wine one, I'm doing this wrong. The cheers, the farmhouse, the uh, the farmer's market, the farmhouse from this year, and enjoy the little things. You get four calendars here for you, Wanda. So I think I have your address, but just in case, send it to me anyway via messenger. So Wanda wins the next set. I have to write these down. I hope I wrote down the last one. I'm gonna have to watch the video to write down who won, because I had it all here so I could write it down. Who won the last one? Who did I shout out earlier that won? Okay, and then, so we have Wanda. Okay, let's do this again. Let's pick another winner. Sharon Marcus, you won. Okay, so Sharon, you get the farmhouse. Boop, boop, boop. And the farmer's market. And then last year's wine calendar. And then the um, Every Moment Matters from last year as well. So four calendars. For you, Sharon. All right, so I think I have your address as well, but please send it to me anyway. I just separate these back there. And then we have one more winner of calendars. And the last winner of our calendars is Teresa Worley. She's so funny too, because you actually, you said, I love the calendars, I want all of them. But she, and one of her messages was, I'm waiting on my calendars. <laughs> okay, well, Teresa, you did. Must have been good karma out there. And Teresa, you are winning. This year's is the, it's the farmer's market. Then last year's wine one, which is super cool. And then last year's Be Brave. Last year's Be Brave, um, I love like their pumpkin. There's some really good ones on the Be Brave one. Okay, so you get three calendars, Teresa. All right, you guys. So all of my winners from the calendar giveaway were um, Sandy Thornton, Kathy E, Wendy L, Lucy Lou, Wanda, Sharon, and Teresa. I have to write Teresa's name down though, don't I? Teresa, so... Everybody make sure that you've gotten me your address and I will get those off in the mail tomorrow, all sets of them. All right, guys, thank you so much. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me what your favorite thing from the haul was or which of my ideas was your favorite idea. All right, guys, you know, I have a great day, great week, a great life, and as always, from your singing crafty crafter. Oh, wait, little kitty footage, footage here at the end of my Boji Bear today rolling around on the floor. And then as I was following him, I end up showing you something from the wedding, like a little shelf that we have a bunch of stuff on. So it's kind of cool. The best gift we got. 
this treasure chest thing. So stay tuned for that. All right, have a great day, great week, great life. And as always, from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. Effingham, say goodnight, Gracie. Mm. <laughs> Bye, guys. Here's the kitties. Kitty, actually. <laughs> What are you doing today? Hmm? Rolling around. Can I pet you? Hmm? Do you want me to pet you? You big fat boy? Hmm? No. You're not really in the mood, are you? Like, uh, <laughs> what? What? Babies. Bobos. Look at your big belly there. What's your big belly? You silly boy. Yeah, there you go. Rolling around with your big fat self. Keep going. Where are you going? Where are you running off to? Hmm? Well, while I'm here, I should show you guys. It's like all the, the, uh, wedding pirate stuff. This is this really cool gift my friends gave us. This is my friend Nancy gave me that when I did her wedding. Guess what it has in it? And then this one was so cool. It was a chest, a treasure chest way to go find it, but it has all these really cool things like Let's flip a coin, heads on yours, tails are mine, or never lose faith during rocky times and it's rocks. There was a clue, there was a map, and this one is have the time of your life with this ship's wheel clock. There's a compass, uh, what does that one say? It says, a penny for your thoughts, a nickel for a kiss. Oh, those were pennies. Anyway, and then there's this really cool pirate ship lighter, and it says, be the fire in each other's hearts. And Anyway. This cool buckle that has pirate ships, buckle up and enjoy the ride. Just really cool. Just super cool gift. And then Marmy is Marcus and Amy. They call us Marmy. Okay, and then this was a gift from our wedding. Guess what it has in it? <laughs> Those were the favors. And then this is the ship that I bought. The Marmy, I named it. There's our wedding invitation. So there you go. Hey guys, there you go. Just something I wasn't planning on showing you, but there it is.